Hey guys, so I thought I would jump on today and do a very quick brand overview. Mm, superficial brand overview on Narwhal Pants. Just add my two cents, you know, in case somebody is interested in buying these because they're really pretty. So, packaging, we're going to start with that. They're very uh, simplistic, just basic branding, although that is super cute. That Narwhal is super, super cute. Um, just cardboard box, nothing fancy, warranty card. The cool thing is, is that these actually come with a little wrench, much like Twisby does, because there are piston fillers and you know, maybe you need to get in there and really scrub that sucker out. I don't know, but there they are. So the story begins with Poseidon Blue. I bought this for myself. I was really drawn to the color because it's just beautiful. It has a lot of Chatoyans, a lot of brilliance in it. The deeper blues right there are beautiful. I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. And then I opened it, and I made the mistake of opening this pen in front of my daughter, who is also in the hobby. And she fell madly in love. And I gifted it to her. And she absolutely loves it. So, because I liked it so much, I decided to order myself. Marmon Green, which you guys have seen before. Love this pen, love the color, it's super vibrant. It's um, really solid resin. I haven't had any issues with it at all whatsoever. These pens do have a um, steel number six nib with branding on the nib. This particular line is only offered with a fine nib. And you don't get to choose any other size. There is a purple one, purple fuchsia pink one, and there is, I believe, a yellow one that looks a little bit more transparent than these do. <sighs> the line of pens that I will not be able to pronounce because I cannot say that word, but I'll write it down below, right here. I, it's just, I don't know, we're gonna call it, that's the original line, this is the second line. I know that there has been a blue pen in this line for a little bit now. I don't know the name of it. In fact, I don't even know if it's part of these. I don't think so. Because I know that there's a red one like this in this line with this release, which is their most recent release. So, uh, Chroma Steel, as for bronze, they have what sets these apart from the other line, from the original line, is the little ink indicator window. So you can see the ink levels. These also come in a different nib size. This one is a medium and this is a fine nib. So that was exciting because I really, based on my merman green, I really wanted to try a fine nib and see the difference. Also number six, steel nib, branding on it, super beautiful. The reason why I wanted to try a fine one in these, you would think, well, isn't it the same as the other one because they're using the same nibs, basically. No. That's where you'd be wrong. So in my little writing sample, you can see that Poseidon Blue and Mermaid Green do not write the same. Poseidon is definitely, definitely a fine nib, whereas Merman is definitely a medium. However, going further than that, Chroma Teal is a medium and it's still not as broad as Merman Green. As for bronze, as a medium, I mean as a fine, writes very similar to this one, to Poseidon Blue. Those two are pretty much the same. Um, the difference between Merman Green and Chrome Steel is not the ink. As a matter of fact, they're both ink with Urban and the same line of inks. So it's not that. It's not that one is, you know, because the one that my daughter has inked has a little bit of a drier ink, but no, 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 it's not the same. Compared to a Platinum 3776, which yes, it's a Japanese and yes, it's a gold name. You can see the difference between those two. And actually the Twisby medium is more like the As For Bronze Fine. So that's 
where it loses points for me, to be honest. It's the huge inconsistency in the way they write because one medium doesn't look like the other. I don't know if the difference of the fine nib in this line and the original line carries through all the pens that went into production, but it's one of those things where if I like the way this writes as a fine and I buy another one, I expect it to write the same. You know, and that's where this one loses points for me. Also, there's no um, indicator window. There's truly no branding. Sorry, I keep trying to adjust the lighting because it just got super cloudy where I live for some reason. Anyways, so that's where this pen loses points for me. It, it loses points in the lack of branding. It loses points in the inconsistency of nib sizing between one and the other. And then in between this line and the other line. Okay, so bottom line, how do I rate these pens? How do I feel about them? I think they're beautiful. However, there are points where like, ah, darn it. <laughs> I think because these are so inconsistent in sizes, um, I can't give it more than a four because I really do enjoy the pens. And they do write really nice right out of the box. So let's give it a four. These, I'm going to put them at a four and a half. Okay. So why a four and a half? <laughs> um, again, is that nib inconsistency because they are not consistent with these pens at all. And these are not consistent within the line. So it's, it's. Like, what is going on here? I don't know if, as I said, I don't know if this is a whole brand issue or just the pens that I have with me. It's just, it's there. It does exist. So, do I love these pens? Yeah. Do I recommend them? Yeah, I actually recommend them more than mm, something like a Conklin Durograph. These are way better, way prettier, way, way prettier. So, you know, if you're wondering, should you get one? Should you try it? I don't think you can go wrong at that price range with these pens. I really don't. Either one of them. Although, I mean, this line is cheaper than this one. Um, I will link all the shops where you can find them down below. I recommend these more than these. If anything, just because of the convenience of that ink window. So, that was my hopefully fairly quick overview of the normal pens that I have. Um, hopefully it, it helps somebody, you know, decide whether to try one out or not. If you have any questions, let me know and um, I'll see you guys later.